Okay, so this is the first night. Decided to whip out the bob because this has just been sitting in my drawer for I don't even know how long. I don't ever wear this wig, like I really don't. Um, but yeah, ready to go and get some food. I don't know where we're going. Actually no, we do, but I hope that they will allow us to come in. Okay, cool. So yeah, so today we didn't really do much, which is the point of this holiday. If you're watching this video expecting turn up, expecting back to back, back to back, this ain't it y'all. Like this is not it. This is meant to be a relaxing trip because I don't even want to go into it again. But yeah, so today we were literally just by the poolside. Like guys, I'm not even joking yet. If you see both of us, like we've actually turned like bears and this is only day one. We haven't, even less. we haven't even rested our head yet we're already worried about our foundation like you can already see the foundation is not even matching so <laughs> i don't know what's going on. i think i'm gonna have to, I, you know what i was deep and i'm gonna have to use my foundation stick which is my contour stick at the moment as my foundation no, it, yeah. so i don't know what the heck we're gonna use for a contour we might have to do that, do that little reverse something because foundation or something. oh yeah see my thinking but um yeah literally like i'm gonna need to go down a foundation shade at maybe even two or three at this rate because right now i'm looking like a ghost but yeah so we're gonna go and eat at an italian restaurant it's meant to be really nice i don't remember the name but um obviously i'm gonna take you guys there it's meant to have like really nice views because obviously by the port so yeah you see like you know the water and all those things there the water. <laughs> the water and all those things there um, I can't lie, let me just basically introduce this vlog because I don't know whether I'm actually going to keep the stuff that happened before. But essentially, if you guys don't know, we are in Marbella. Um, we decided to just literally just treat ourselves because we're not going to let Smade hold us back considering obviously that Afro Nation got cancelled. Like literally like a couple of days, like a couple of days ago, done. Um, we booked it. You know Ryanair, yeah we went Ryanair guys, listen. Surprisingly, the flight today was actually pretty smooth. Like normally with Ryanair, you have to pray in tongues when they're landing because you just don't know what the pilot's gonna do. But the flight was actually proper calm and it went by super quick considering it was like two and a half hours. Like that is actually, yeah, it went pretty well. Huh, let me tell you something. Stan said ain't no joke when it comes to their security. Like immediately before we even step foot, cross across the line to now go to security the ladies are already shouting one bag per person only one bag and it needs to be zipped up bring it out and then she started saying bring out your straighteners bring out your curlers i'm thinking okay hold on because <laughs> when we went on holiday last time we didn't hear him like that in fact i don't even know how many how many clear bags we actually bought on that holiday because what this one was different so obviously now like i said i thought i could get through with this i'm doing je je sneaky sneaky doing two bags feeling like a criminal style it in a way where they don't even clock that i put in two bags in well i thought they didn't clock until i now go past the screening and then i hear the woman's a man say to a woman oh this girl thinks she's getting away with more than one so I'm like, okay, cool, this is going to be an issue. And you know when you're waiting for your luggage to come down, but then it goes across to their side? That's when we knew we were finished. In fact, Sharon, did, you, did any of yours even come down normally? Oh, only yeah, one. only one. Only one of um, Sharon's stuff actually came back normally. Like, everything else, we were waiting for them to do scanning. And that scanning, hmm. long story short, we had to leave. I had to leave. And, but actually, both of us had to leave a lot of stuff. 
behind the security. But guys, Sharon told me this, and I didn't even know. You can actually like tell them to send those stuff home so you don't actually have to lose it. However, the real scam is that the price apparently to send them home is a mazine. We will find out at the end of this holiday and we will decide. But I feel like probably just gonna end up firming. I'm hoping that it's decent. I mean, your Tom Ford is really Yeah, nice, my Tom Ford so. perfume, but I'm deep in at the price that I pay. Like, is it better me just buy a new one and get a fresh Tom Ford? Why am I paying the same amount as a Tom Ford perfume to ship it if I can just get a brand new one? So, yeah, I just got to look at the opportunity cost. Ah, shout out to, was it Mr. Slater from <laughs> the school? Slater, GCSE. GCSE, because <laughs> honestly. But, um, yeah, I just showed you guys, but let me show you guys here. I'm really not fully changed yet. We're going for a maxi dress vibe today, chilled one. Um, this is one I said it was in my Zara haul. Yeah, and then it's got like a cut out at the back. And then Sharon, do you want to let them know what you're wearing today? Um, I'm also wearing a maxi. Basically, Beatrice is set in pace for this holiday. What do you? Hold on, what, what do you? She's doing. I'm just copying. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm also wearing a maxi. This is. Come on, birthday! <laughs> really old i think it's from misguided wow um, when people I say something from in dubai once oh day. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no guys the story behind that is so funny literally what club was it, it was like club white club white yeah, yeah. we hmm. literally t we turn up there in this Racism. club right turn up in this club club white obviously if you know dubai you know that's a club to be at and um when we were there like the woman, you could already tell as we were approaching, this woman had a stern face. It was like, oh, we weren't going in. Yeah. And she literally just looked at Shaq. What's she? She just looked at she you. She looked at me and she was just like, you can't wear that. And oh, I was like, what? it's literally to the floor. To the floor. Like, like, like honestly, like, what more do you want from us? And then and she, she was just like, no, it's see-through. You have to change. So we went home. Hmm. I changed. Came back and then she now was like, oh, entry's closed. But she was letting other like other people in. in. You know them people there. Thank God for the black security the black man. Security guard. He helped us. He helped us. But yeah. let me not lie though. It's not all the black security guards like your friend. That one was no. just nice because some of them some be, of them be doing too much for the paycheck. Too. Much. You're gonna get the same damn paycheck. Take a notch down. Like honestly, yeah, like it's, it's too, much. too much. But yeah, so I can't even give you a tour of this place because it's a state right now like we literally just finished getting ready can i just say i really like this like piece of art i don't know yeah, like, I there's just like small there's the, like yeah we'll probably do it properly yeah we'll do a like, proper one but... yeah the guys like they've got some really nice decor in here which i think is pretty good and um if you check out sharon's page which is city style 101 underscore she basically talks about the fact that we basically got a deluxe room um and it was literally like what 20 pounds yeah, 20 pounds or 20, four, 20 pounds each more or i don't even know how I much think it was even less maybe it was, i think it was 20 pounds in total yeah pounds. something so cheap but they literally double the size like one yeah. thing that people do not do when they check for hotels is they don't check the room size like yeah. for me that is the first thing i look at i never i do not stay in hotels that are less than 21 meters squared you're not going to catch me there because i'm not going to be glued to the wall <laughs> i have to squeeze my stomach and hold my stomach in when i want to go to the side of the bed like what's all the meaning <laughs> And they know what in oh London don't God. no fam. There's some there's some rooms. I don't know what hotel it's. I think it's like one one hotel in Shoreditch. The rooms are fifteen meters squared. Stop I it. said no 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 no. Double bed. No 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 no. no. Uh -huh. It ain't gonna be me. No. So yeah. So this one was forty one meters square, which obviously is like a quite a big size. Considering like it's not even a suite or anything. Like it's literally just a deluxe room. Um, the only downside to it is that it doesn't have like a nice view from outside of the balcony. The balcony. In fact, this hotel like it's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's modern but then not if that makes sense i don't know what that is but that combination of the two so the balcony not really balcony and like it should balcony like if that makes sense like it's literally like you have to hold on to you know you hold on to yourself as you're there because you could fall kind of thing yeah. um but it's still really nice though mm -hmm. and i'm impressed but yeah this is obviously the first night we haven't laid our our heads to rest so i can't tell you whether the beds are comfy and that you know what i mean we haven't, <laughs> ate, we haven't i mean to be fair we ate food at the bar and um don't get the fish because that fish be tasting like egg listen i don't know what the hell is going on with that with that chef over there but he'd be chefing up something that ain't right but however the burger slaps like there was some sort of i'm not it's not relish there was some sort of sauce that was like yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Right. Cool, it was no it was good it was actually good like yeah, we'll be I'll, I'll be back i'll be back for that burger but um yeah so now we're off 
to this place gonna get a few pictures and then go off i don't even know what time is but um hopefully we find somewhere to eat and these people let yeah. us in because i don't know what time the restaurant or the sh kitchen will close but yeah so we'll check in with you guys i'll take you guys with me on this one because apparently the view is meant to be pretty decent so yeah also guys have you noticed my eyebrows i've done something different there's this youtuber i'm gonna probably put her mention or something she did like an eyebrow tutorial and i really like her eyebrows it's a hit and miss like some people are gonna love it some people are gonna hate it i love the whole feathered like eyebrow look i think it just makes it look a bit more warmer your face just look a bit more mm. do you know what i mean it looks more like makeup artist standard i don't know how to explain it but um yeah like i kind of liked it and i use the uh, I use the Remsco brow pencil, which slaps, absolutely slaps. And guys, it's less than five pounds. Hmm. Less than five pounds, and you're spending twenty pound on on benefit when you could be spending five pound and be getting good quality. Listen, guys, don't be playing yourself. Or just because of this branded name, don't be playing yourself. They'll be doing the same thing. But um, yeah, so let me stop talking because I've been talking bare. This video, this this is too long. But we will check in with you guys when we're at the restaurant. Peace. if it's hitting or not like it tastes nice but it tastes too good to have alcohol in it if that makes sense mm. see thank you yeah yeah wow thank you a lot okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you it's a yeah, but because when I saw the price, that's when I knew that was going to be quite hefty. Uh, how much is it? 14? Okay. 14 or 15. Chips. And guys, can never go wrong with. Oh. Calamari. This is so funny. Do you want calamari? Do you want calamari? Do you want calamari? Boy. Oh, guys, I'm. I've been tired of eating jollof. <laughs> I've been tired of eating jollof. <laughs> I've been tired of eating fried rice. You know what I mean? And then we also got strawberry daiquiris. I really like it. It just doesn't. I like it. I just don't. I just don't know if it's got alcohol in it. Yeah, it just isn't sure if it's got alcohol in it. But it's nice. It tastes really good. But yeah, it's really good. Really nice. mm. so, I'm excited to go. Bitch, and I are so big on food. Like whenever we go away, or just even in England, to be honest, we always have to go to like really nice restaurants. Don't have, it doesn't have to be expensive, mm. but they have to be nice. And good reviews. Good reviews. Because you can go to a restaurant now, the carbonara is sliding off the plate. Mm -hmm. We've mm -hmm. even had the chance to even eat. Why is it running away? <laughs> anyway, so basically, we had this strawberry daiquiri when we went to Cos um, five years ago, and we still think about it because it was such a nice strawberry daiquiri. And it was very affordable and huge, it was so big. Um, but this really reminds me of that and for me to say that mm. that's a big deal because all the ones in london they just be having too much dead it's like flush puppy like yeah what's all this it's it's really horrible yeah. Yeah. but this is really nice i'm excited to try this feed so i got carbonara if you know me you know it's carbonara always like i'm still mm -hmm. looking at the menu but i'm always using carbonara mm -hmm. um so yeah and i requested tangatelli pasta because i don't even know if that's the correct pronunciation of the pasta <laughs> but that's what i asked for anyway like the fat delivered, so the fat flat one um so yeah i'm excited to eat this mm -hmm. i'm so hungry mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i need a spoon i think I think you might need to taste this. Let's see how this is. Even this 
so far so good. Mm. Good. good yeah, piece. I really need a spoon though. Yes, please. They give everyone tongs so you pick out your own food so guys we are about to embark on a pilgrimage this place is bare hilly fam that's why the apple watch has been turned on because <laughs> this shall not be in vain let it count towards something after the deadly breakfast. Oh, finally, guys. This is what the airport people have got us doing. If it weren't for them, we would need to come here, man. Hello, hello. I don't know if you guys can even see me as properly. Ignore the state of this room, by the way, because the cleaners haven't even come around yet, and I'm very confused. But anyways, I'm take this off. As you can see, we are ready and turn hello, up. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yesterday. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, obviously day two now. Um. Yeah, we you know the bikinis about. You, you, you know the drift um i think today we're gonna check out this beach bar that was recommended that i go and see wagwan but we're actually late but we're only gonna spend like an hour there i guess but it's still better than nothing and we'll probably just end up coming back to the hotel pool and chilling outside because this turn i want to keep on going you know what i'm saying um but yeah i'm super super enjoying myself like i feel like this holiday is doing what it needs to do so far and you know we've still got what three nights left let me show you guys the bikini so yeah i'm wearing this bikini um i'm not gonna go down to the bottoms because yeah this is youtube but um yeah i think i got this from pretty little thing i actually like pretty little thing like even though it's not the best quality but at least something there and it's normally quite cheap um and then i'm gonna wear a cover-up which is again from pretty little thing so it's a pretty little thing kind of day today let me um turn you back round. But yeah, we're going to La Sala by the sea. That's not too far from the hotel. Sorry guys, we just took a shot. And you know when the shot is just really re resonating in your you stomach? Like three shots, yeah, that was yeah, that was basically like three shots in one. Um we're basically just drinking Captain Morgan and Ciroc um this trip and then obviously cocktails will be complimented um when we go to like you know the pool and things like that so yeah don't know if i'm gonna take this i doubt i'm actually no i'm not going to take this camera with me because if i'm drinking mm. and the pee mm. yo i can't i can't afford to replace this camera let me tell you that now so yeah i probably won't take this but i'll probably insert if i take snaps or anything of what the place looks like so you guys can see but yeah so i'm gonna love and leave you and i will see you guys when we come back again i don't know what the plans are again for this evening haven't really got another restaurant in mind but i'm feeling to turn up at some point during this trip i don't know whether it'll be today probably won't because i feel like to turn up it needs to be a weekend when the other people are going to be around and off work if they're working so hopefully we find something on like the friday or saturday that we can go to but yeah so i'm gonna see you guys when we get back Hopefully you don't leave my home Before I die, I'm trying to fuck you, baby Hopefully we don't have no babies I don't even want to go back home Hopefully you don't leave my home Hi 
Hi everyone, I'm back. So today is day three, I believe. Yeah, day three. And listen, let me even tell you what we got up to last night. So I don't know which one was where I left you guys, but essentially we went to um what's the beach club called again? No, La Sala. No, no. La oh, Sala. Sorry, sorry. You know what? Don't let me know. I don't even know why I asked Sharon. <laughs> I don't even know what I asked her. But anyways, we went to La Sala by the Sea and it was actually really nice. Like it's quite small and it's intimate. And I can imagine like obviously during like non-COVID times that like, it would actually be lit. But um because we got there quite late, we essentially was like there's no point paying so much money for a bed beside the pool. So we actually decided to um get a bed by the sea on the beach, um, which was really nice, only 15 euros, uh, you know, that's cheap things. Um we got some calamari, some fries, you know what you do when you're by the sea by you by the um, see so yeah so we had fun it was really really nice we obviously played our own music because we weren't too close to where the dj was playing and the dj was actually playing like the type of music that we like like r&b hip-hop that's the kind of vibe that we like um i don't know if we want to go back we'll probably go to another beach club just to see because there's no point going back to the same place not really that deep um but yeah we had so much fun then basically when we were on our way back we went past a club which i was recommended that i should go to um and it's called like mirage and essentially like i didn't know i think i don't even know what john what i thought it was gonna be but obviously you know since it was recommended to me it made sense that it would probably be something that we would like um so we lit sharon literally ran up to the uh -huh. she did run up don't even no, mind her no. she ran up with her legs run 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 and she ran up to security guard and was like oh like what's going on here like what music do you guys play what genre and then the the security guard was like you know afro beats and you know Come on, if you know Sharon, you, you know the guy said Afro beats first. He didn't even ginger it and said hip hop, R and B. Afro beats, Afro beat. Sharon was like, ah! So obviously that meant we were going to go back. So um, luckily there was a lady that was there who was basically like in charge of like the entrance and stuff. And we were just like, yeah, we want to come in. And the thing about obviously like during COVID times is that normally you're meant to like book tables and obviously it's only just two of us and that's the thing about going on holiday with like two people when it comes to like clubs and stuff it can actually be quite difficult and we definitely experienced that in miami like just having a group is probably better because obviously you can split costs you can enjoy a bit more but it's not worth two people getting a table like what the actual hell so um yeah the lady was basically like you know when i didn't know whether she was telling the truth i can't lie to you like it's not that she wanted to get rid of us because obviously we would turn up a little bit and um she was just like yeah like come at like what 10 and we're like oh no we'll come at 11. she's like okay cool come at 11. so we decided to come back home we took off our makeup do we have a shower we had a shower right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. we took we took off our makeup had a shower got ready again obviously you know i think sharon changed the wig i'm not sure if sharon, yeah i think sharon changed the wig i kept my wig um and then did our makeup and everything and obviously changed our outfit blah 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 i'll insert some clips at some point as to like what happened in the club because yeah we couldn't really like snapchat that much because obviously like with covid and everything like that but um i'll put in like small small snippets but essentially um yeah we ended up going we ended up getting there like just before midnight can't like so you know what they do um and the lady was super nice like immediately we got there outside like she literally whispered to the guys like oh yeah these two i promised let them in so then she let us in like oh, free she yeah she said these two oh, i let promise let them in let them in um and obviously they, they let us in and literally like free of charge um and it was really nice and the club literally played really good music well the dj tried let me just say the dj tried um definitely must be a newbie because he's not anything like super mids or like you know djs that we're used oh, wow. to when we go to like events like dlt and stuff but he was decent for like a holiday dj if you get what i mean but he played afro beats he played r&b he played hip-hop he, he played discovered a new song. yeah we discovered a new song like this song is amazing it's called my sala i don't know who the artist is by but it's featuring tory lanes <laughs> we normally skip the song before it comes to lane song because yeah tory lane's actually ruined that song but it's such a good such a good tune um but yeah we had so much fun but then it, oh my god guys basically in um in malaga or marbella sorry let me move to this a bit more lighting in marbella or marbella whatever um Magal Mal no in malaga or marbella basically i don't know if there's a curfew going on someone didn't inform us but obviously after a night out and you're drinking and you're feeling you know Ooh, you would think there would be a mcdonald's or you would think there would be some sort of takeaway that you can you know take your food and you know go and eat and enjoy it. but no we literally had to starve like why am i starving on holiday like i didn't come here to suffer legit i never i don't even go to bed starving at my own house why am i starving on holiday do you get what i'm trying to say um it was so annoying 
um, and obviously you have to start firming the wave. Like you just have to firm and be swallowing your saliva to just literally put everything in. Because normally, obviously, the food will like soak up the alcohol and everything like that. But um, yeah, but luckily, obviously, this is again why I say when you go on holiday, just get bre like breakfast at least minimum with your hotel. So in the morning, we ran down there and chopped, chopped to yeah, our heart's content. So yeah, so. We are currently going to stay in a hotel and then we're going to go out for dinner. I need to find out where we're going to go. I feel like I'm feeling like a nice Chinese cuisine. Like that's what I'm feeling at the moment, but I'll see what Sharon's saying. Um, but let me show you guys what I'm wearing. So, don't know if you guys can see, it's a bit of a dairy one, I guess. So the actual swimsuit is from Fashion Nova. Shout out to Fashion Nova for sending me this jumps this um swimsuit and then essentially this cover-up is actually from pretty little thing i literally got it the day before we were flying out and i just saw it i just thought yeah there's a bit of me and it's in the tall section that's why it actually fits like if it wasn't tall i wouldn't be able to wear this like the way i am now and i like the way it just like goes down like you know what i mean it's really really nice and flattering and obviously you can like bring it up if you want to like make it more reserved etc but for me like i think it just looks better when it's down and yeah then the shades as well are from fashion nova um and yeah that's basically it let me show you guys my face without the um without the sunglasses you know do you know what it's so so mad basically like i've been told that like i've changed my makeup like people basically been noticing that i haven't been doing like my usual colors like if you know me like i do colors like i do like wild colors but i haven't been doing that i've been keeping quite neutral and i like it but i'm actually thinking that for the rest of this trip i'm going to probably like amp it up and do a bit more look because it's quite plain but i feel like with blonde hair you just have to play it safe before you start end up looking like one one strange doll but let me show you sharon hold on Sharon, can you come in here? Because I don't know if the lighting's lighting here is perfect. So Sharon, we've, we've got a different vibe today. Like she's yeah. more like neon kind of vibe, and I'm basically this is, like this neutral. This is what I would have been wearing to Afro Nation if we were. Allowed. Yes, that is an Afro Nation vibe. Right. Honestly. Yeah, well, aesthetics are off today, but we look paying. Yeah, well. exactly. That's actually all that matters. Um, so yeah, so we're just gonna go downstairs to. Uh, the pool and then probably get the burger that we spoke about before because that burger is Child. Child. Oh my God. Yes. Child. So yeah, anyway, I'll tune in. I'll check in with you guys I'm actually gonna take you guys downstairs because I don't think I've actually shown you guys the pool I don't think I've shown them the pool. Mm -mm. I haven't shown you guys the pool. You haven't even shown the lobby or anything like that. Come on. You we'll see what we'll you're doing. We'll do a little tour today. Yeah. We'll do a little tour we'll today. See. You guys. We'll see if the alcohol doesn't... you want doesn't... to stay at H10. Because I can't lie. The alcohol right now is... Hey, entitled. Entitled the system. Hey, Hennessy, T. Wobody. It's not Hennessy. Hennessy, T. It's not Hennessy. 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 Oh yeah, cool. Bye. Anyways, we'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. So today has just been a um interesting day. Basically, we basically had a, a bit too much to drink. That basically sums up the day. And we were at the pool for a long time. And because we were, you know took us a while to just get in the swing of things and then bang you know we had to start getting ready and basically the time now is basically 11 49 and like i mentioned it, earlier on this place when it comes to like late night stuff like i don't know what's going on like i think there must be a curfew or something because literally everything closes at midnight so now we haven't had any food if i'm not like that hungry but i just know that i need food in my system and it would be nice to have some food and a uh, drink as well um so we're just gonna try and see this one place on google which said it was closing at two but uh, we'll see if it really does close at two if not the way shine's running up and down is actually so funny but um yeah we'll see if it actually closes at two or not let me show you guys a quick outfit thing hey my battery's gonna die but essentially this is my top. Sorry, it's a bit out of focus and this place is so dirty. But um, this is my top. Pretty little thing. This skirt was in my Zara haul that I mentioned. So, yeah, that's basically that. Can I just say, hmm, I've been shouting about this, so she's going to get annoyed. But, you know, you're up when your friends borrow you the designer bag. 
You know you're up when your friends actually lend you the designer bag because it goes with the outfit. Goes with the outfit. Like it's prime money. Hey! <laughs> God, may your pockets as you're listening, as you're watching, be overflowing. Amen. Be overflowing. But yeah, so we're going to try and see whether this place can give us food. Yes. Cool. I'm probably out of focus. I think I am. But yeah, let me just go away because I'm hungry. See ya. Hi guys, literally, I don't know where I left you guys because I had to switch. Restart the video no, because like I don't, because I switched my phone to record. Oh, hello. hello. So basically, today is a Sunday and it's the last day. Um, you can't even see me right now. I'm looking. Let me just face this way so you can see me for a second. So today is Sunday and um, yeah, we're just going to do some shopping. We've come to basically. Puerto Banos, which is where they've got all their shops and they've got like, you know, basically by the port, um, by the port. And yeah, we're just gonna do some shopping and see how it looks. Yeah, cool. So I'll take you guys with me. Hi guys, hey. <laughs> Picking up this camera again was a struggle, I can't even lie to you. I am knackered. But basically, this is the video done. Like, that's literally all like, my makeup is even looking, this is how you know, it's just time to go. But essentially, the last night we just spent, the last day, in fact, we just spent by the pool. So I had my mask on, this why my makeup's looking like this. Um, we spent it by the pool, and then we went out to go and do some shopping. By the way, like, obviously, you know, the UK has left the EU now, so basically we could shop tax-free and we may have um, overdone it, <laughs> you know, but um, I'm really super happy actually because I got a bag that I've been wanting to to get for a hot minute and yeah, the price is just making sense, so it just made sense to get it now, but the issue is I don't know how the heck I'm transporting this back to the UK, like legit, I, I just don't see it, but we have to make it work. And then I also picked up this bracelet, which is another thing that I also wanted. But um, yeah, so that's basically the end of this vlog. This trip has been amazing. It's been relaxing to an extent. Um, and yeah, I'm, I am excited to go back home. I'm gonna see my mom. I haven't seen her in about a couple of months, two months now. Um, so I'm excited to see her, but apart from that, there's nothing. There's nothing I'm looking forward to in the UK. I can't lie. To you. I can't lie to you. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like like I said from the beginning, this one a turn up holiday. This was just a small, gentle, gentle, 
enjoy yourself, relax for a few days, you know, take a break from work. But yeah, it's been super nice. So hopefully I will see you guys soon. I need to make a comeback to YouTube because I miss it. And I feel like that's the only thing that was keeping me sane. But yeah, I'll be back soon. So thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Bye.